Kimo Nights, it is Patrick, and here we are on a very snowy Missouri evening, the eve of the big game, a game so big that if you even say what the name of the game is, they'll sue you or something like that. I don't, I'm not even going to mess with that. But the question is, who is the more dominant force? Who will reign supreme? Will it be Frank's Original Red Hot Sauce or Frank's Buffalo Sauce? Who would make the better wings? Who's going to be more tasty? Who's going to be more spicy? Let's find out today in a little segment I'd like to call Rattle the Okay, so according to the recipe on the Frank's Red Hot Sauce webpage, you need to preheat the oven to 450 degrees. So let's see if I can actually figure out how to work the oven. Uh, okay, there we go. Hey. Four hundred fifty, and let's start. Ooh, the countdown's on. Mmm, Patrick likes wingies. Okay, so I was going to uh, follow the recipe, you know, right down to the letter, going to the website. Um, the only thing I did differently is I did spray down my aluminum foil with a little bit of uh, olive oil and spread it out a little bit. And I have big old wings because it's a big game. We deserve big wings. So, we'll see. The oven should be about preheated. It should be beeping at any moment. Should be beeping at any moment. Maybe. The oven will be beeping at any moment. Ooh, it's getting close, getting close, getting close. Four, three, two, I'm off. Oh, well, I always am. Woohoo! It's wingy time. So, the website says, on the lowest rack in the oven for 30 minutes. Yes, my oven's dirty. But anyway, 30 minutes, so we'll see how this goes, shall we? Since we do have to flip it, I just put it in for 15 minutes. And now. And then, at the end of this 15 minutes, we'll flip them over and see what happens. Like my potholders? They'll be put to you soon as the buzzer is about to go off and we'll be flipping those wingies. Okay, the timer went off. Like, ooh, it's time to flip them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to put the uh, phone down to actually get that out of there. One second. Okay, let's see how badly I can do one-handed. Let's flip the wingies. Flip. Flip. This is gonna take a while. Surely you don't wanna watch that. Flip. Oh, there's a kitty tiger. No, no, baby. No, no. No, okay. Okay, so the wings have all been flipped, and uh, then it's on to phase two, and uh, stovetop stuff. And uh, the kitty tiger. Okay, and for round two, it is time to start making up the sauce. So. I'm gonna have in this one my third of a cup of butter. How am I gonna do that? Oh, heck. Why not just get hands on it, huh? right? Right? And yes, I did wash my hands after touching the chicken. I'm not an idiot. Alright, so butter is in there. Let's start that a melting. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be tasty. Melty, 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 melty. So then once this is melted, then I add my half cup of Frank's hot sauce. The original. Meanwhile, I've got the other pan set up over here. So that whenever this starts, we'll just, just for fun, heat up the buffalo sauce. The Frank's buffalo sauce, the pre-made stuff. Ooh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Who am I kidding? This is <laughs> destined to fail. Like most other things I do in my life. Hey. Mm. But it's melting nicely, isn't it? Getting there, getting there. And speaking of getting there, look, it's already melted. So, it's time for the original Frank Hot Sauce to be poured in. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. Just kind of want to lick that clean, but I won't. <clears throat> Not on 
camera anyway. So we're gonna whisk this in. Whiskey, 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 whiskey. Not whiskey. No, there is no whiskey in this. There's no. no. I guess if you wanted, you could add whiskey, but that is not in part of the original recipe. So therefore, ooh yeah, looky there, looky there. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Okay, now since I completely misjudged the time, how about we just let this simmer? Mmm, simmer for the last few minutes. Meanwhile, come over here. I'll turn on this one and add. The buffalo sauce. Mmm. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. So we'll see if you know the buffalo sauce is the tastier one, then you know. Yay! But if not, then the other one is tastier. Because there's not much to it, so I think it might be worth it to make up a batch. Just take that whisk out. Why am I still recording? I'm just showing myself failing. Again. Maybe that's why I should rename the channel. Okay, so now that they are both simmering, this one's the buffalo one, and this one's the other one, the one that I had to mix. It's in the bigger pan, so therefore it deserves to be on the bigger burner. Ooh, it's nasty in there. I should not have done that. <sighs> but I'm a guy that lives alone, so of course my burners are gonna be dirty. Uh, no, I'm not as hungry anymore. Oh well, once they're done, I'm sure I will be. Okay, so this is on the smaller burner. I just like this burner better. That's why I made the, the butter in the, yeah, the butter on the better burner. Yes. <clears throat> I need a life. Kitty Tigra. You know you're kind of in the spot, right? You know that, right? You don't care. Okay. Yeah, now's a fine time to recall that, hey, I don't have a meat thermometer. So, hmm. Eating chicken that may not be up to temp? It's the year of living dangerously. Hey, we also arrived 2020, why not? Yeah, so, um, without a temp, you know, a little timer thingy or anything, um, yeah, it just didn't quite look right. I mean, it didn't like cluck in my face or anything like that. So, uh, but it just didn't quite look, um, healthy to eat, shall we say? So let's put it in for uh, another 10 minutes. Okay, see what happens. Maybe I'll check it in five, honest. If I didn't know which pan was which, and the bigger pan had the uh, original in it, at this point, I probably wouldn't have been able to tell the difference. So, um, yeah, good thing I know that. And I have been stirring them, especially this one, because it has been separating a little bit. But once it's whisked up, yeah, pretty much looks the same. It's a snow one. Yeah, we're under a winter weather advisory, so that's always fun. But we have wings. We have wings. Okay, so now, because I hadn't thought this all the way through, and those are huge, I mean, I should have chopped them down, but, you know, like so many other kitchen utensils, I don't have one of those knives that can, you know, cut up, like, you know, meat that's on the bone, or bone-in meat, whatever you call it. What, what do they even call those knives? Is it a, is it a boner? Is that... Is that what I need? I need to go to the store and ask for a boner? Depending on what store I go to, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh huh. Anyway, and because I had not thought this through with these monster wings, and I don't have a bowl big enough to toss them, I guess I'll just have to be creative, since I am from the generation of a shake and bake, and I helped. So I have the original wings here, and the original sauce here has been simmering all this time and just stirred it so we should be good to go there so now I guess I'll just going to uh, pour that into the wings and see what happens I had not thought this through it is clear now okay so there's that there goes the sauce into the baggie because I'm an idiot but what else can I do at this point and everyone at home is going, oh, I could think of a thousand different things I can do. Okay, so there's that one. Now, zip, 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 zip. Make sure it's completely zipped. And shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, 
Take the pack of roll up and check. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. No, it's not. And yes, yes, the kitties do have treats on the table. So what, uh, you're not eating here. Okay, so. Actually, that might not have been so bad. Okay. Next one. Buffalo sauce. Which is still over on the stove. So. Oh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Mm, buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. Open wide. Say ah, little chickies. As the camera goes. Oh, Yes, I dropped my phone into the buffalo sauce. Somehow I don't think that the apple warranty would cover buffalo sauce damage, but so far I think I'm still recording. Anyway, <laughs> let's just see what happens. <clears throat> I am available for uh, kids' parties, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. So anyway, the buffalo sauce is now in there. We zip it. <laughs> we, we shake it. We shake it like. We shake it. We shake it. We shake it. I can just put our phone to get the buffalo sauce off of it. Only here, we're putting the buffalo sauce on the wings. Take my frustrations out on my wings. Okay, well, I think that's about all the damage we can do here. Well, that was exciting. <sighs> okay, well, <laughs> at this point, maybe it's time to invite my dinner guest, uh, Sal Manella, over. And we'll see just which tastes better. Shall we? So we'll start with the original first. We'll just take a wingy, a monster wingy. Sauce is good. You gotta lick your fingers. It's chicken. That's like the rule, right? It's the law of Kentucky, right? Fried chicken? I don't know. It's got a nice little coating on it. It's a chicky. It's a wing. I'm not gonna eat this whole thing while we're here. I'm mostly just gonna taste the uh, the sauce on the wing. Okay. I don't even know where to go on these big things. Oh, well, I guess I'll just start here at the massive part. Mm. Hey, it's not pink in there. I must have done something right. Wow. That's a classic. That's a classic uh, buffalo flavor that we like. So yeah, if this one does turn out to be the better one, it's definitely worth the effort. I would just keep your um, phones away from the saucepans. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good if I do say so myself, and I did. So, mm. 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 <laughs> but since it is a competition, here comes the pre-made buffalo sauce. So, which is gonna be tastier, which is gonna be spicier. Nice coating. I probably shouldn't have taken a bite of the skin. So how y'all doing? Doing okay? Yeah. Um, big plans for the uh, President's Day weekend coming up? Hmm? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so. Pretty made buffalo sauce. Let's see how this manages.
I went through all of that. Yeah, you might as well get the pre-made stuff. <laughs> I mean, either or. I mean, if you want to melt the butter and have it, then, or just empty a bottle of the buffalo sauce stuff into your saucepan. Or just put it on your wings. There is really sauce on sauce. No difference. Go figure. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we've all wasted our time, um, yeah, um, have some wings, have fun, enjoy the game, if you choose to, if not, still go for the snacks, still go for the advertisements, still go for the halftime show, enjoy, have fun. I dropped my phone in a saucepan full of buffalo sauce to come up to, with a draw. Huh. You know the drill. <laughs> hit subscribe. <laughs> no one's gonna hit the like button, so I'm not even gonna mention that. But hit subscribe. <laughs> I'll probably get some unsubscribes after this one. Go team. So, one more thing. I managed to get some hot sauce on my tiger blanket. So, ah, now you see. That's obviously needs to go in the wash. Oh, good thing I have a spare, a substitute. Yeah, that'll work. Good night from snowy Missouri. <laughs>